Hello! How nice of you to join us. We're uh, playing Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden, and we're about to go from the Rot Warren to this unknown area, which, well, we don't know what it is, but it has a cool icon, like a gas mask with horns, something like that. I guess it's going to be more ghouls. Yeah, the Rot Warren was a pretty sad place with that bunker full of dead people. All ca killed by the ghouls, of course. Ooh. Lair of the Horned Devil. That's gonna be interesting. Also, a pretty, uh, pretty wide map over here. I always like to go straight off the track to the sides to look for uh, parts like this. What is this? Some kind of a fridge or something. What is that? Oh! Wow! That's cool. I wish I could look up some kind of a ship or thing from Eden, I suppose. What is this? Broken electronics? Look at all the scrap around here. This thing must have crashed down here with a great deal of power. Okay, that's a Warren. <clears throat> Anything here? Nope. Anything else over there? No. Yes. I think I hear someone walking over there to the right. But we're gonna go this way. Ha! Just to switch it up. Oh, there's more stuff over there. What is that? Hmm. I might be going the wrong way. No, this is a pier of some sort. Broken electronics. I wish I could find more artifacts. Common scrap. Lovely. Don't mind if I do. Another med kit. This feels like we've been here before. I don't know. I'm, I'm having a deja vu. But of course, you know, that's just the, the brain playing tricks on you. Ooh, a chest. All alone? Wait, really? Oh, there's a ghoul. Marauder, which we can take out. Mimer Z600 manual, page 319, section 3, combatant familiarization system, CFS. Uh, CFS. Friendly fire is now a non-issue with Mimer's updated combatant familiarization, uh, familiarization algorithms. The Z600 can be set to recognize allies by uploading biometric data. The high-speed laser scanning system is 99.9% .9 accurate setup. Important. To set up ally recognition before boot up, insert the correctly formatted CFS drive A into the drive slot B. Attention. If the drive order is set in reverse, the Z600 will engage all with impunity. If this occurs, do not boot. Hmm. Sounds like something we can do. Open the chest. There's a weapon in there. What is it? Oh, a Rambino. Okay, well, it's a good weapon, but... Okay, so I'm assuming these guys have a big bot somewhere? You spot anything? <sighs> Nothing. No oh. one comes. No. no one dares come here and challenge us. Yeah, we strong. We got metal giants. Uh-oh, okay. All right, we can take this guy out quietly. Uh, there. And yeah, we got metal giant. Glory to our Stotska. Okay, a little bit closer. There you go. Hello. Want some more? <laughs> Want some more? <laughs> <laughs> nice. 75. Now I want to make sure it's 100. Give up now and I'll go easy on ya. <laughs> Lovely. You gotta die someday, right? Hey, follow me. Okay, now that guy has 24 and he's a shaman, so we're gonna have to take him out f first. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't seem like there's anyone else around here. Apart from him. I mean, there's there's more stuff later on. 
further in the map, but he seems to be all alone here, so we can take him out without the fear of attracting any more attention. That's pretty good. Oh, this map is pretty big. Yeah. That's some weird noises over there. Alright, let's take this guy out with uh, the big boy weapons. Uh, Rambino. And you get the shotgun. Uh, yeah, 3-3 three, three armor. That's much better. He's got 3-6. Three six, yeah, that's that's awesome. All right, let me just save just in case, like always. Okay, hello. We can take him out in one turn, pretty much. Hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's really nice. Now I believe he. Seventy-five percent. Yeah, just. Do it. Bingo! <laughs> you did it, kid. Nice. And there we go. Don't need to uh, worry about any more combatants. Okay, there's some more scrap. And he didn't drop anything. Oh, well. but it's important that we took him out because, well, he's a shaman. That is an artifact, I believe, over there. Okay, let's see what else this map has. Get your asses over here. Get your asses over here. Get your paws and everything else over here. Oh, hello. Oh, Camp Moose. <laughs> so, this is where the cook said the murdering ghouls ran off to. The lair of the horned devil. Okay. So this sign clearly indicates there's a devil with horns in there, plus a bunch of ghouls who butcher settlements for fun. <laughs> Who wants to turn around? Let's vote. The horny devil can blow me. These ghouls just messed with the wrong goddamn stalkers. We can't let them slaughter another settlement. This ends right here, right now. Alright. <laughs> Let's see the horned devil. Oh. I want to pilot one of these things. Another crash machine. Looks new, though. Can't even see the star. It's so cool, though. Look at it. I still don't know if it if it's supposed to have legs down there or something. I don't think it does. I think it just... Yeah, they even call it... It doesn't sound like his friends know he's gone. Yeah, they just call it a ship. So, yeah, it, it's one of those floaty ones. I wonder why they're uh, crashing down, though. And I wonder... Oh, this is a note. But it was another chest. Extreme Survival Weekends. Camp Moose is proud to present Extreme Survival Weekends. Hosted by world-famous reality TV, uh, TV celebrity Grilled Bear. <laughs> That's funny. Learn how to eat uncooked animals in varying stages of decay. Experience how it feels to be covered in leeches and your own fecal matter. Burn anything that you can get your greasy little paws onto. Register now, limited spaces. Only 30 minutes from G Gothenburg. <laughs> can we investigate? No. I thought they were going to comment on... It would be fun if they also commented on the notes. I like the banter. Okay... Suicide ain't my thing. We're backing off. What do you mean? What's going on here? That guy has a big looking weapon. What is that? Tank. Why is it suicide? He's not... We can take him on, but okay. No cover, of course. <clears throat> Let's go over here. Through that side and see what we can find. Of course, if they've got that robot, we gotta be careful and use the uh, anti-robotic weapons to disable it, so it'll be easier to deal with. No more scrap around here. Lots of places to hide. All right. Careful. They're all over the place, and we can't find them all at once. Oh, Marauder with 18 health. 
I think we can do that, right? Uh, five. We've got... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, bloody hell. <coughs> um... Well, I mean, we'll need to crit or use hog rush on this guy. That's disappointing. Uh, but let's take him out. Let's see if Farah could take this guy out. If one of us crits with a silent weapon, crit 100%. Yeah, look at that hidden. That's insane. Okay. Okay, that will alert. So 75% to hit him. If she crits, then we're fine. We don't need to use Hog Rush. Yes! Nice. Alright. Foreman was caught sneaking. Yeah, let's get closer because we obviously want 100%. Nice. Gotcha. And then ducks can just finish this guy off. Hello. Nice. <laughs> The fewer the fewer enemies we have, the better. You finally figured out how to use that thing. Obviously. Oh, this place is really sort of like a maze, and we've got some high cover, which is very good for ducks. That thing over there looks awesome. Whatever it is. Broken gun. Ugh. Ah, another marauder. Um, well, we can do the same thing, I suppose. If Farah crits, we can do this just fine. Where are you, Farah? 75. Yeah, that will alert him. Okay, so 75 it is. Say my name, Jizwipe. It's Pharaoh. That's right. Nice. I mean, it's not a question of if she crits, because she's got a 100% crit chance there from hiding, but uh, if she hits, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. The more we take out, the easier it's going to be. Unless, of course, they've got some kind of a special um, ah. robot there. For a newbie. How is he a newbie? I mean, they've been through quite a lot. Oh, another peer. That's cool. Kayaking. Oh, unfortunately, there's nothing else out here. Now, well, let's get this scrap over here. And let's also, you know what? Check the uh, mutations. He's got 16 points available, so enough for another health boost. Yeah, let's get him another health boost. Man, those red eyes are weird. Alright, he's got 15 points available. Double critical chance when shooting whilst hidden. Or 25%. Yeah, I think the... Whilst hidden would be very nice. Well, actually, no, he's got 50% critical chance. Yeah, the, the Alpinist is better. I'm gonna keep uh, Alpinist, because that's... You know, constantly on if you're on high ground. Come invisible until you attack instead of the uh, moth wings. Nah. I'm just uh, gonna save up for the health booster, I think. And she's got the double critical chance when shooting was hidden. That's pretty nice. Instead of the super tendons. She's already got frog legs, so I think I'm gonna keep that for now. Sneak between covers. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh yeah, did I save again? They really need a quick save option. <laughs> oh, chest, hello. What's in here? Some kind of a helmet, I'm assuming? Oh, uh, a band, a band. A Borg band for extra movement range. Tales have been told of ancient meaning and grunting competitions which were held by club-wielding athletes. 
The winners of such tournaments would be given the Borg Band as a symbol of their loud and annoying voices. The band also absorbs sweat from the wearer's head, most likely an unintentional feature as it soon becomes a soggy mess. Okay. Ooh. What the hell is that? That's going to be interesting. Are we going to take the whole thing? So let's see how they would look with this. More extra movement range. <laughs> I mean, for Borman, that would be um, fairly useful, I suppose. Oh, are they going to have a brother in there? I don't know. We'll see. They probably will have a brother. Wait a second. Where's the where's the net thing? The, well, grenade damage. That looks cool, though. He's got the extra weapon range. He doesn't really need the movement range considering he's a sniper now. And she's got 20% critical chance when hidden. That's situational, but pretty good still. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it like that for now. Right, what else do we have here? Nothing. Uh oh, yeah, there's the robot. There we go. Can we reprogram it? That would be cool. Let's see. Because it seems like the others are outside. The ghouls are outside. Look at that thing. The ghouls got themselves a machine of their own. Thank the Elder, it's out of power. That looks awesome. And there's another chest in there. And I'm assuming... Oh, okay. Yeah, the cables are running to the robot. So that's where it's powered. But can we reprogram it? Can we use this? <gasps> yes, we can! Awesome. Nice. Okay, so now it's going to be attacking them. Well, and us. But that's that's cool. Right, uh, wait a second. If I drop down, I can still get back up via the, the thing. So that's alright. Because I want this chest before we fight them. Wow, we've got 500 screw up. Whoa, ghoul armor. That looks cool. 4x4. Four four. <laughs> Most regular ghouls wear thin clothing, which does little more than protect their pale skin from the rot and the sun. However, clan leaders can be seen wearing surprisingly intricate and durable armors, which, uh, armor, which has been handed down or otherwise acquired over generations. This is a much prized possession and will not be given up without a fight. Well, it, it just was. Uh, it looks cool, but I don't think it's really better than anything we have. Certainly not better than this. It's 3.6 versus the ghoul armor 3.4. Yeah, this is also 3.6. And this is 3.3. Three. So this is slightly better. There we go. Yeah, you're definitely uh, supposed to come here sooner than this, I, I guess. That robot looks cool, though. I wish I could just use it in combat myself. Oh, look at that hype high uh place over there that's awesome actually well let's check the uh rest of the place first so that's a tank over there you said the generator would bring this giant to life did you lie to me no no lie gray one only truth big oh. truth just need a little more time you sound like you want to die do you want to die? No, no, you the chief gray one, you the Hatamali. <laughs> I will get this metal man working again. It will kill more and more settlements all the way to the Ark. Oh, wow, and now she's going there. Interesting. That's the gray one. That's the one that's supposed to be attacking um, Ark, I thought. That's the chief of the ghouls, isn't she? Okay. Oh, someone's splitting off, but he's a hunter level 26. Well, I mean, I could uh, I could use Hog Rush on him, I suppose. If he comes closer, but he won't. Uh, you know what? We can try it. But of course, we're going to do it next time. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.